So recently I was watching some videos by Atlas, otherwise known as Atlas Omega Alpha on YouTube. He makes a bunch of custom content for Mario Kart Wii and CTGP, and I was quite interested in a video I was watching of his that he had a custom minimap color. Now this is something I know you can do. You can actually go to the custom Mario Kart wiki, and there's a little tutorial on one of the pages letting you know how to do that. Well, that's all cool, but it's just for one color. Atlas had it in a way where it was a gradient between green and a kind of magenta color. It looked really nice, and I liked how it looked, and I kind of wanted to do that myself, but I couldn't really figure out how. After some trial and error, I actually figured out how to do it, and it's quite simple, but I want to make a little tutorial on how to do that, and how to make it correctly, and how to make it look the best. So, let's get started. So what you're going to need is two programs, the first being the SZS Explorer and the second being the Wii Layout Editor. Um, so if you go to the website chadsoft.co.uk slash WiiCoder, you'll have access to downloading C tools in the SZS modifier. Downloading C tools will give you plenty of tools like the BRRES Editor, the KCL Editor, the TPL Editor, the BMG Editor, as well as the SZS Explorer. So, just all you have to do is download the C tools. It'll give you a file, run that, go through the install, accept all the agreements that it has, and you'll have C tools and all those programs. I would also recommend downloading the SES modifier, it's also very useful, um, and that's just a separate program in itself. Next, we're going to download the Wii Layout Editor. This is the page on the custom Mario Kart wiki. And the download for it is over here on the current version. Just click this and it'll download a zip folder with all the contents. And we'll need this as well to get better control of a certain file we need to manipulate. Alright, so first what you're going to do is you're going to go into the Wii Layout Editor. And you're actually going to first open up a folder or create a folder. And we'll just call it WLE. Alright, and we'll open that zip file and we will take all the contents of the zip file and put it into this folder. Once we've done that, we will close the zip folder and we can actually just get rid of it completely. Now, we need to also have a file being race.ses, which is a file from Mario Kart Wii. If you don't know how to get files from Mario Kart Wii, there are plenty of tutorials, yet I plan to make one in the future. For now, I assume that you have this or have watched my tutorial video that has come out in the future after this video on how to do that. All right, so we're gonna open the SES Explorer and we are going to go to File, Open, and go to our race.ses, which is just on my desktop. You'll have a bunch of different file folders here. We're going to go to the game image folder. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back to the desktop and make another new folder and we will call this something like extracted game image and that's game underscore image. Once we've done that, we'll go back into the SES modifier, take the game image folder, click on it, and then right click on it, and hit export. Now we will go to that folder, and say OK. Now we can close the SES Explorer. Once we go into extracted game image, we will see that the game image folder is in here. That's good. We can actually close that for now. We're going to open up the Wii Layout Editor. We're going to open that here. And make sure that you also have all these DLL files in with your Wii Layout Editor, otherwise it won't work. We're going to go to File, Open, go into our extracted game image, go to Game Image, go to the folder BLYT, and open up common underscore w040 underscore map underscore set underscore position dot brlyt. This is the file we need to change the texture or the appearance of our minimap on the main screen. Now I've already edited this, but I will just go and make it look like how it looks normally. So this is what this looks like normally. Now, when you go into the custom Mario Kart wiki, the game or the tutorial tells you to go into uh, to mat one, 
to race null to back color and pick the color you want. And what that's going to do is change the white here to whatever color you need. So we can make it red and now our minimap would appear red. That's cool, but we want a gradient. Now I already had the gradient set up there and it's actually quite simple. However, I had a bit of a longer process for myself because I had it set up like this. I then set it up where this was black and this was white. It became a bit of a problem. So I decided, okay, this needs to be like this. How do I make the gradient? Well, this is what you do. You go to the root pane and then go into race not null in here, or race underscore null, and go to the vertex colors. And we're going to use the top left and bottom right. And what you can do is change the colors here. So we can go to red, and that'll change this side. Go to bottom right, and we'll make it something like uh, a light blue. And that doesn't look great. Let's make a better color. We'll, we'll do green or something. Ah, that's a nice color. And that's just a nice little gradient between red and green. And if you load this into the game, you'll get a green, a red and green gradient over your track. Now, the importance to know here, I don't want to just say that's how you do it, and it just works. I want to also let you know why it's working and what it's exactly doing. If we switch over to the map 1 here and go to race null, if we switch the uh, 4 color here, which is the black here, and we switch it to white, you'll see that the vertex color is just applying a color gradient from here to the next corner. So when we put the 4 color to black, it's blocking out some of the gradient and keeping it in the same way as if we were switching the back color, which is the white. So essentially when we change this, what we're getting here is a shift in color. And essentially, this uh, four color is kind of blocking this color and almost isolating it in such a way that it stays focused in the right area. The black is essentially your uh, outline of the map. So if you have something in the main map that is red to green here, for example, the black is going to be the outline around the track. Now that's important because if you have this set to white, this color will still be applied, however the outline will be non-existent, it will be completely gone and everything will look just flat and it won't really blend well. So having this black border will really help define the details in the track, especially for really big tracks that are almost giant squares but have walls all in it that you need to know to make the right turns. If you don't have the borders there, it might just look like a giant square and you won't know where to go based off the minimap, so it's important to have your border. Of course, you can still customize the border and make it, say, a color like red or something like that if you wanted to. However, I recommend black. It looks the best, and it just works. All right, so that's basically everything with the gradient. So all we're going to do is go to File, Save. So we've saved the gradient we like. We're going to close that, and we're going to close this folder with the Wii Layout Editor. We're going to open SCS Explorer again, and then we're going to go into the race.scs folder that we had open earlier. We're going to go back to the game image, and we're going to go to the blyt folder, and we're going to scroll until we find the same file we were manipulating that we extracted. We're going to right click on that file and hit replace. We're then going to go to our extracted game image go to this blyt folder and go and select that same file that we have edited and once we've done that we will put it in and save it. So once we've done that that's basically everything. We can close that and you can take this race.scs folder and put it into your my stuff or you can manipulate an already existing race.scs and save it and eject your SD card, put it in your Wii or Wii U and it'll work. Um, I'll put up some footage of my current one that I have. It's just a simple gradient from a uh, bluish to a pinkish or a pinkish to a bluish, whatever direction it is. Um, that's what I have. It has the black outline around it. It works great on a lot of tracks. I like the way it looks. 
I also want to point out some item textures that I had recently made based off of Super Mario World, a 16-bit textures for all the items, green shells, mushrooms, gold mushrooms, mega mushrooms, bloopers, all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to put this in that in this video because I didn't want to make a separate video just for those textures. It's a minor thing. Um, I'm releasing that on the Custom Mario Kart Wiki. There will also be a download below for that. There will also be download links for all the softwares that you need and a YouTube link in the future when I make a video describing how to get the race.ses files, common SES files, etc. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Simple little thing, but it looks so much better than a solid color in my opinion, so it's just a little thing to know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and I will see you in the next video. See you guys.